Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. Well, today we are going to go and do the thing that I've been talking about for many episodes. We are going to find bamboo. That's right, bamboo. Now, there's two ways we can find bamboo. We can find a jungle, which would be preferred, or we can find shipwrecks that have bamboo as part of their loot table. What we're going to do, we're going to get in our boat and we're going to go explore the large ocean that we discovered a several episodes ago now and uh, have a good time. So if that sounds like a plan, let's get started. Okay, before we take off on our nautical voyages, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been doing. So this might look familiar. It's how the garden was initially. I put it back this way because um, the bees kept on dying. Um, yeah, so they would fly. And if anybody out there can tell me what is exactly going on, that would be very helpful in the comments below. They would just randomly fly north that way. And I'm assuming they despawned. I have no idea, but they were gone. So I ended up growing other trees. And uh, if you haven't seen that episode, uh, I'll put the card up right now of how to spawn in bees. And so I spawned in another bees nest and um, I built a, an apiary. So an apiary is a kind of like a protected bee house here, let's say. I have two bees nests, one from the previous build and uh, a new one. And that's, um, it's working quite well. I'm not losing any of the bees. They, they can't leave. There's no edges or corners. I don't have any flames going down here in terms of fire until I need them to harvest. And uh, yeah, so that's working well. And then before um, we head on our boat here, I'm gonna show you really quick what we did um, with the hillside and our sugarcane farm, because it, you know what? It's been working out quite well. So as you can see, I built the entire hill back up again using the dirt that I had and planted a whole bunch of trees. And then I have the entrance coming into our mine. And if you turn right here, this is our double decker sugarcane farm. So it looks like it just harvested not too long ago. You can see that um, there's some leftover um, sugarcane just sitting up here. If you wanna see a technique on how to do a lossless farm, uh, click on the tile above here and um, it'll take you to that episode that I did recently of a, a lossless sugarcane farm. But you know, three stacks plus almost four stacks there and uh, almost four stacks here of sugarcane. That is not bad at all. Okay. So, like I said, our episode goals are very simple today. We are gonna go on our boat, head to the south to the ocean, and then follow the uh, ocean around until we find bamboo. All right, as I approach the mouth of the river and our Savannah village, I thought what we would do is um, I'll go around to start to the left because we haven't been that direction yet, see what I can find. And if there's anything interesting, I will cut back. Um, if there is nothing interesting, I will keep following this around until I come back um, or find something else to uh, explore. But I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, Looking straight ahead there, um, uh, yeah, look at that shipwreck. That is pretty spectacular. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna explore this because, I mean, how often do you see a shipwreck this exposed like this? All right, so it looks like we have to dig down a little bit. Thankfully, I have my shovels and we can go down here. And there is our first, this should be the food one. Um, if there's going to be bamboo in any of the um, chests as part of the loot table, I'll probably get rid of these later. I, yeah, I don't want those. Um, then it'll be in this chest up front. Oh, and look at this right here. Here's the captain's one. Uh, I'll have to break this out really quick. Let's see? Ooh, tasty. I like that. We might as well put our bed down here and sleep for the night. Just so we have a place to uh, rest and we don't get spawns. 
And then we'll dig down and see if we can find a treasure chest here as well. And I'm not going to show you all of this um, as I go through all of the different uh, iterations of finding uh, bamboo. If I find a lot of these different chests, uh, not finding anything here. Let's see. There's got to be something down here, though. Sometimes they render the ships in very weird ways. It should be down here, though. Hmm. Because that's the door that you would go through. Let's go down this way. See if we can find an entrance way here. All right. So it should be maybe right down in here. Maybe they have it buried underneath the sand. If you notice the um, air lasting longer, it's because I enchanted one of my diamond helmets that I made, or a diamond helmet that I made uh, with uh, Respiration 3. Uh, very handy to have. And I don't think there is going to be a chest up here. So we might not actually have a treasure chest uh, or a loot, ch like a chest that has a treasure map in it. It should have been here by now. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, maybe if we clear some of this stuff out here, we can find an area that has it. This does look like it's rendered very strange. It's outside. All right, we'll call this one done for now. Uh, nothing in there. Okay, well, let's keep on exploring and see what else we can find. Oh, and right here we have icebergs. That is really cool. So now, um, since we have our pickaxe with silk touch, oh, and I saw a polar bear over here. Let's take a look. That's one of the rare mobs to see, a polar bear. That is really neat. Oh, it has a cub. Oh, cool. Uh, you gotta stay away from when they have cubs. That's when they're aggressive. So, icebergs will have packed ice and blue ice as well. Um, packed ice is sl more slippery than ice, and then blue ice is the slipperiest of all. So, uh, this will be a great source, great source for us to come back to, to grab ice um, for any of our water streams where we need to move our um, items a little bit quicker, or um, even make an ice road. Uh, which really like you can put ice down and put a boat on top of it and it goes super fast. So this is really, really cool. Let's take a look at our map really quick. I brought our main map with us too. So we're in this far corner, a little bit further down off the map. So, okay, this is, this is awesome. Um, lots and lots and lots of ice for us to harvest. So we will keep note of this one for sure. Let's keep going. Oh, look at this. This is the first ocean monument we've seen. We want to keep kind of a wide berth around this baby. Um, those guardians will definitely kill me, but uh, we'll definitely want to raid one of these at some point in time. Uh, Guardian farm is one of the best sources of XP in the game. Um, I think on par with like an Enderman farm, but that is really, um, that's good to know. I've seen a bazillion shipwrecks so far, but let's go down and check. This one's intact and see if there's anything in here. Bamboo. Holy cow, we actually struck bamboo. Um, yay. That's that's incredible, actually. So, mission accomplished. Um, I would still like to find a jungle, but um, for right now, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, what we got there. So let's go up and take a look at our this one up here too and just see if there's anything interesting in here. Eh, we'll grab it. Cool. So yeah, on the loot table of uh, sunken ships, we um, have bamboo as one of the options. So that was, um, that was very lucky. Now, let us just do a little bit more exploring. Um, maybe we can find something else cool around here.
more bamboo. That's good. Although, honestly, all you ever need is one piece of bamboo and you have as much as you need for a lifetime. So, um, you know what? We will take it though. A desert village. That is cool. Um, we should definitely check this out. It looks like it borders a plains area too. That's, that's pretty sweet. Let's go and check it out real quick and see if there's anything interesting in here. Lots of hay. So far, no villagers. Oh, there we go, back there. There's our iron golem. Sorry to intrude. Take the book. Leave the rest. Hi. Is there a blacksmith in town? Yeah, this is a temple area. Oh, we'll take those emeralds. That's good. And that's it. Couple of cartography houses, cartographer houses, in there. Lots and lots of cats though. We haven't really tamed a cat yet. We'll have to do that at some point. Uh, yeah, no, we'll believe this as is and know that it's on the uh, northwest side of the ocean. We can see it from the water. That is good. If we ever need to come back here and uh, grab some villagers, which I don't think we'll need to, but you know, nice, nice to see. That looks interesting up there, but I don't think that's a jungle. It looks more like a, like a swamp, but that's kind of a weird swamp. Huh. I'm going to go check this out. This is odd. Oh, here's a flower forest. Huh, that's cool. Yeah, this is our first flower forest. So beehives are more common in flower forests than they are in any other biome. Uh, I don't see any bees flying around right now, but this is um, this is pretty cool. This is a new biome, and, and this is a swamp. It's like a an elevated swamp. It's up in the air. It's very strange. Uh, oh, here's here's the regular part of the swamp down here. So let's let's explore around a little bit. Okay, I didn't see any beehives, but I did grab some varieties of flowers we don't normally have. I'm, I'm fond of blue flowers, so I grabbed a couple of the blue variants. I, I didn't have a, um, I don't have a lot of room for uh, shears to uh, get some clippings of those vines because uh, we could start a vine farm, but um, I don't think we need that right now. And I'm pretty sure there's a swamp that's a lot closer to home base than uh, this is. So... I'm going to go ahead and um, head on home. Oh, here's the zombie village that we discovered a couple episodes back. Okay, cool. We're getting closer to home. That's good. We've been traveling for quite a while now. I think we're probably close to um, 6,000 blocks away from um, base, so it's uh, taken a while to get back here. We should be coming around this corner here and there will be a pillager outpost. This direction, I believe. Pillager outpost. That was the second one we fought. Um, okay, getting close. There's one of my bees that flew north. I'm north of, down, uh, north of the town. Um, hmm, how can I get you back? Can I lure you back? That's crazy. How far did you go away from? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, these are my bees from 
earlier in the episode where I told you they all disappeared. What are they doing up here? This is insane. Let me get them back to the house. Uh, we can put them in the apiary. Um, can you follow me? Come on, guys. Come on, guys, this way. Let me show you your new home. Come on, over here. Just like that. All right, let's go into your new home. Come on, guys, come on. Come on, yay. I got my bees back, hello. That's awesome. I'm probably gonna have to put another nest in here. That's really cool. Um, so, like I said before, if there's anybody that can tell me why my bees flew north like that and just disappeared into the woods and never came back, um, I would love to know. But uh, we found them. That's so cool. And we have bamboo right here. So, mission successful. And we even like did two things we didn't think we would do. We found a flower forest and we found our missing bees. Yay. And that brings us to the end of the episode. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more content from the Dad Sky in the future, please click on that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming episodes, and leave a like for this episode. It really helps the channel grow. And if you happen to know why my bees flew north and just disappeared like that, please leave a comment. I would love to share that with everybody else who watches this video in the future. Until next time, bye for now.